Every year, more than 10 billion concrete blocks are produced. An astonishing number for a material so seemingly simple, yet one that forms the very backbone of modern construction. From basements buried deep underground to towering skyscrapers that define city skylines, and from industrial plants to quiet suburban neighborhoods, concrete blocks are everywhere. Despite their varying shapes and sizes, each block can withstand over 1,500 pounds per square inch PSI, of compressive force, the equivalent of several tons of pressure concentrated on a single small surface. In the world of construction, the concrete block stands not merely as a material, but as a symbol of durability, precision, and human engineering. Behind what appears to be a familiar production line lies an intricate system of technology, finely tuned and monitored at every stage. This is the story of how a concrete block is made, a cornerstone material that sustains the infrastructure of our entire modern world. Every year, the global concrete block industry produces more than 10 billion units, generating an estimated $350 billion USD in economic value. A staggering scale that underscores the material's irreplaceable role in modern infrastructure. From residential housing and industrial plants to bridges and urban developments, the concrete block has become one of the most durable and cost-efficient building materials ever engineered by humankind. Today, concrete block factories operate with near-complete automation, seamlessly integrating every stage, from batching and mixing to molding, curing, and quality inspection. Computer-controlled systems monitor and adjust every variable to maintain uniform density, shape, and strength across production. As a result, a single production line can output up to 60,000 blocks per day, significantly reducing labor costs while upholding the industry's most demanding technical standards. Reliable, scalable, and inherently sustainable, the concrete block now stands as a cornerstone of the global construction economy, shaping cities, structures, and industries that define the architecture of the modern world. The production journey of concrete blocks begins with four fundamental materials, Portland cement, sand, water, and gravel, or crushed stone. Each component plays a distinct role, together forming the structural strength that defines the final product. First, between 60 and 70% of the mix consists of gravel and crushed stone sourced from quarries near the plant. These aggregates pass through primary crushers to achieve uniform size and grain distribution, ensuring consistency and load-bearing capacity. Next, 10 to 20% of fine sand, collected from riverbeds or sand pits, is thoroughly washed, screened, and moisture controlled to remove clay and other impurities. This step increases the density and stability of the mixture, creating a smoother, more durable bond. Both water and cement undergo strict quality checks to guarantee the optimal chemical reaction during curing. The water is purified, while Portland cement, making up roughly 10 to 15% of the mixture, acts as the main binder. Finely ground and specialized. Once the extraction and selection of qualified raw materials are completed, all components are transferred to the preparation and screening stage an essential intermediary step to ensure uniformity and proper moisture balance before mixing. Locating the production plant close to aggregate sources not only reduces transportation costs and CO2 emissions, but also ensures a stable supply and consistent input quality. At this stage, each material is stored and handled under specific conditions to maintain its optimal state. Cement is kept in sealed steel silos equipped with humidity control systems to prevent clumping and maintain uniformity during batching. Meanwhile, sand and crushed stone are stored in dry, well-ventilated warehouses with continuous air circulation to keep them loose and easy to mix. This is one of the most precise and critical phases in the entire production line. Even a minor deviation in mixing ratios or moisture content can cause air pockets surface cracks, or reduced bonding strength in the finished concrete blocks. Through this rigorous screening and conditioning process, the raw materials become refined and consistent, fully prepared for the next stage, the mixing of the concrete blend.
After the material processing stage is completed, the qualified raw mix moves on to the blending phase, a crucial step that determines the overall quality of each concrete block. The materials are fed into large capacity industrial mixers, where heavy duty steel shafts rotate continuously to achieve maximum uniformity and bonding strength throughout the mixture. Unlike conventional concrete, the mix used for cement blocks is formulated with lower moisture content. Excess water would cause deformation or cracking once the blocks are pressed and cured. For that reason, moisture levels are checked manually by skilled engineers, ensuring that the blend remains cohesive enough to form a solid mass without releasing excess water, a balance essential for compressive strength and dimensional stability. Throughout the mixing process, every proportion is carefully monitored. The amount of water is adjusted with high precision, just enough to create a mixture that maintains optimal plasticity and density. In some modern facilities, parameters are fine-tuned depending on production goals, whether to manufacture dense structural blocks or smooth refined surfaces for decorative applications. Ultimately, this stage serves as the defining moment of the entire production line. The point where engineering precision and material science combine to determine the strength and durability of the modern concrete block. In industrial manufacturing, every concrete block represents the perfect harmony between automation and precise material control. Once mixing is complete, the concrete blend is transferred into an automated molding press, the core forming unit of the entire production line. Inside, a set of steel molds divided into compartments is filled with the mixture, allowing the system to compress anywhere from 4 to 12 blocks simultaneously, depending on their size. The molding process unfolds through two synchronized movements, compression and vibration. First, a high-pressure compaction system exerts tremendous force from above, reaching several tons per square inch, pressing the mixture firmly into the mold and maximizing its density. Then a vibration mechanism activates beneath the mold, distributing the material evenly so that sand, gravel, and cement particles interlock tightly. This combined action creates blocks that are solid, compact, and uniform down to the smallest detail. When the compression phase ends, the newly formed blocks emerge with flat surfaces and sharply defined edges. They are then transported to the curing section the stage that determines the final strength and durability of each unit. From a dry, unassuming mix of materials, the block gradually takes shape under controlled pressure and motion. Each one that leaves the production line is more than just a piece of construction material. It's a building unit of progress, a foundation that supports the architecture of the modern world. After the molding stage, the concrete blocks still retain moisture and have not yet achieved their required strength. They are therefore transferred into a sealed curing chamber equipped with an automated temperature and humidity control system. Inside, a network of warm steam jets operates continuously for 18 to 24 hours, maintaining a stable temperature between 140 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit in near saturated humidity. These precise conditions allow the concrete to harden rapidly while preserving its long-term strength and durability. Within this controlled environment, the chemical bonding between cement and water progresses steadily, forming dense calcium silicate crystals that bind the entire structure together. The core component responsible for the block's compressive strength. This stage is what gives concrete its hardness and load-bearing capacity. If the temperature rises too high or the humidity drops below the required threshold, surface cracks or minor deformations may appear. Some modern factories employ high-efficiency steam curing systems with fully enclosed chambers where temperature and humidity are continuously monitored to accelerate the hydration process without compromising quality. After approximately 12 to 24 hours, the blocks reach their standard compressive strength and can be transferred to the drying zone for further inspection and quality testing. Curing and drying form one of the most critical finishing phases in the entire production line, directly determining the stability, strength, and long-term durability of each product. Once this stage is complete, the concrete blocks have achieved their full structural integrity, 
ready to meet the exacting standards of the modern construction industry. When the curing stage ends, the concrete blocks, made from cement, sand, and crushed stone, are removed from the steam chamber and left to cool for several hours. This cooling process allows the internal temperature and moisture to stabilize, preventing deformation or cracking caused by sudden thermal or humidity changes during quality inspection. Afterward, an automated quality control system randomly selects samples from each production batch. These test blocks undergo a series of evaluations to measure compressive strength, water absorption, specific gravity, and dimensional precision. The collected data determines whether the product meets the required density, durability, and tolerance levels. Only blocks that fully satisfy all technical standards are transferred to the automated packaging line. This closed-loop process shields the products from environmental factors and ensures consistency throughout transportation and storage. Once the inspection process is complete, the concrete blocks move to the packaging and shipping area, the final stage before leaving the factory. Here, an automated conveyor system organizes the blocks into batches and places them onto reinforced steel pallets, optimizing storage space and ensuring stability during transport. Each batch is secured with high-strength plastic strapping or multi-layer protective film to guard against impact, abrasion, and handling damage. Industrial forklifts then transfer the loaded pallets to temporary storage zones or directly to the loading bay. Integrated load sensors and barcode tracking monitor the weight, position, and batch identity of every shipment. From there, the blocks are lifted onto heavy-duty trucks and transported to construction sites, contractors, and building suppliers around the world. Every stage of this process is designed for precision and efficiency minimizing manual handling and preventing operational errors. By the time each concrete block leaves the factory, it embodies not just strength and durability, but the culmination of advanced technology, engineering precision, and the human drive to build a lasting foundation for the modern world. Once they meet the required quality standards, the concrete blocks are transported to construction sites across the nation. On-site, they serve as the foundation for homes, overpasses, tunnels, and massive retaining walls that line the nation's highways. In the United States, this material is present in nearly every type of project, from suburban neighborhoods and industrial plants to large-scale national infrastructure networks. Within industrial zones, concrete blocks are used to build soundproof and thermal-insulated walls surrounding wind farms and solar power facilities. Thanks to their dense structure and high load-bearing capacity, they're engineered to endure even the harshest conditions, from scorching deserts to regions frozen year-round. Beyond construction, concrete blocks play a vital role in shaping modern cities. They are used for perimeter barriers, park benches, stairways, and pedestrian walkways. Subtle architectural details that collectively define the rhythm and identity of urban landscapes. At ports, they act as breakwaters and container foundations. In agriculture, they're repurposed to build barns, storage sheds, or animal enclosures designed to last for decades. Far beyond the busy city centers, standard concrete blocks continue to support daily life around the world. From the suburbs of America to the industrial heartlands of Asia, they form an invisible network of strength and stability a symbol of engineering precision and the enduring human ambition to build a connected modern world. Concrete blocks are entering a new era in construction, the age of green material regeneration. Instead of relying solely on traditional raw materials, manufacturers and construction companies are now pushing the boundaries of innovation to minimize emissions and repurpose industrial waste into valuable resources. In many modern formulations, a portion of the cement is replaced with fly ash from thermal power plants, steel slag, or finely ground recycled glass. Additives that maintain structural strength while cutting CO2 emissions by up to 40% for every single block produced. This process not only conserves natural resources, but also transforms industrial byproducts 
into functional components of a closed-loop material cycle. From a traditional building material to a symbol of sustainable innovation, the concrete block is being redefined for the future, engineered to retain its strength while dramatically reducing its environmental footprint. It marks a pivotal step toward a greener, more responsible construction industry for the generations to come. From familiar materials like sand, cement, and crushed gravel, humanity has built millions of enduring structures across the world. Each concrete block stands as the result of precise engineering and continuous innovation, a testament to how far construction technology has evolved. If you found this journey fascinating, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel to discover more cutting-edge production lines around the globe where technology is shaping the very foundations of our future.